Hi, I'm Jack and in this video I want to show you some shortcuts that make it much more convenient to work with animation nodes in Blender. Let's start by looking at this node tree. And here we create 10 objects and 10 vectors and place all those objects at the generated locations. Um, the first shortcut I want to show you is U. With U you can um, show the advanced settings of a node directly inside the node tree. So you may know here on the right side um, there is this advanced settings panel which then depends on which node you have selected but you can also open it up right in the node tree by pressing U. So here you can see advanced settings, now you can hide the relationship lines, which are always a bit ugly um, when using animation nodes. So let's just disable them. And that is context sensitive, so depending on which node you have selected, you get a different behavior of the U um, button. Um, next up, here we have you create 10 objects and 10 vectors. Let's say you want to create 15 now. So to do that, we would have to change both of these values to 15, which is uh, uh, boring, I would say. Um, so the best way to connect those values up is to use the W um, shortcut. Um, when you hold down W, you get a pie menu. And now we're interested in this operator here on the left side, um, which creates a new input um, for the socket here. Um, it can only create an input for this one socket, so it doesn't have to ask um, which socket we want to create this node for. Um, for example, here in this node, we have to select which node we want to create an extra input node for. So, this way we can very easily connect two values up so that we only have to change one in order to change both. Another really nice operator in the WPAN menu is when you swipe down to create a viewer node. Um, I often see people creating viewer nodes um, using the menu menu or the search box, but that is never really necessary because you can just click on the node, um, hold down W, swipe down that W up and you get this viewer node. Um, on the um, right side of the WPI menu, you get different kinds of operators depending on the node you have selected. For example, in the input integer node, there is nothing here, but always when you have a, a list output, you can directly create a loop to loop through um, the output of this socket. So, as you can see, we created those two nodes with, the, with just one click. Um, now, a shortcut that you um, should know already, I guess, which is Control A to directly open the um, search box. Let's use a text object output node so that we can change the different outputs here, uh, the different text. Mm, right. So now imagine we want to change the spacing between the individual diff uh, digits. To do that we need another input in this text object output node. Um, I hope you know that many nodes and animation nodes have hidden inputs by default so that they don't clutter the whole UI. You can show them here, um, like we need this letter spacing. 
But the way I do it most of the time is by um, pressing U again and changing the tab from advanced settings to socket settings. And now we get the same list of sockets here in this floating panel. Um, so we can enable letter spacing, enable it here, and now we can change the spacing. Perfect. Um, another thing you can do with the WPI menu is imagine we have this node and a loop input node selected, or a group input node, or a script node. And when you have one of these nodes selected, you can hold down W and directly create an invoke node for that subprogram. So, yeah, that way you don't have to go to the menu and create it like that. Um, next up is the top um, button, which um, is used to mimic the behavior of the top button in Cycles node trees, for example. In animation nodes, we don't use the same concept of groups we have in Cycles and the compositor nodes, but this is fairly sim similar. So we have those nodes here, which form a group. And basically, when I select the invoke subprogram node, and I press tab, I get to the subprogram directly. This becomes even more helpful when I um, have another loop here, which is a subprogram that is located in another node tree, and I want to jump to it. I can just select this node, press tab, and I am there. And by pressing tab, I can go back again. Um, obviously, this going back can't always work because when you use the subprogram in multiple different node trees, um, the uh, RN doesn't know where to jump to. But as long as it is um, obvious where to jump to, RN, uh, so animation nodes jump there. Um, right. The next important shortcut is E. E can be used to select multiple nodes. So let's say we have this object transforms output node selected, and now we want to select all those nodes this node depends from. So I can hold down E and swipe to the left to select its dependencies, and now all those nodes are selected. Same thing, when you swipe to the right, you get all the nodes on the right side. And by swiping down, you can select the whole network. So all the interconnected nodes. One thing that I just implemented today, so the operator exists uh, longer already, but I just inserted it into the menu today, is when you hold down E, can swipe up to create a frame around the selected network. So I often see people creating those frames by hand, but I think using this operator you are just uh, much quicker. The last shortcut I'm going to show you is Control Shift Q, which you don't have to use that often, I hope, but when you need it, it becomes, uh, it is very handy. Um, let's say you accidentally created a node tree that takes a very long time to execute, like a few seconds, and every few seconds, um, Blender allows you to do just one thing and then it freezes again. So, usually, in that case, you want to disable auto execution just to get control over Blender again. Um, but that's not easy when Blender is freezing all the time. So there's a shortcut, Control Shift Q, which just disables auto execution when the next 
um, execution of the node tree ends. I can't, or I don't know how I could do it, that um, the current execution of the node tree stops, but at least the survey um, animation nodes won't start the next execution of the node tree when you press Control shift q before that. So, in case you have a node tree that takes for ages to finish, you just um, click Control shift q all the time until it stops. So, that is really the best way to do it. You can always enable it, of course, manually again. But, yeah. That's it for now. See you.